Get ready to set sail on the high seas with rogue waters, a pirate themed tactical roguelike where the only thing more dangerous than your enemies are the creature lurking beneath the waves. Will Captain Cutter rise to power or will it find himself at the bottom of the Davy Jones locker? Let's dive to the stormy waters and see what these games has to offer. From the creatures of Harvest 2, Rogue Watchers combine tactical ship combat, strategic crew manager and roguelike adventure that have you on the edge of your seat. So grab your compass and let's chart a course for victory or failure or I don't know. Okay, in Rogue Watchers you'll be leading Captain Cutter and his crew on an epic quest for treasure, revenge and total control of the seas. After a quick tutorial, you'll find yourself in the hub, your base of operation where you recruit new crew members, upgrade your ships and prepare your next run. Each new journey begins with a choice of three maps, one that advances the story and two that offer resources for upgrading your crew and ship. But here's the catch. Each decision impacts your next battle, so choose wisely. When you set sail, you'll engage in a two-paced combat system. First, it's time for ship-to-ship -ship combat. This is where you'll use command points to fire your cannons on enemy ships. They can you cripple their cannons, destroy their modules, or wipe out their crew before they can do the same to you. It's a game of strategy and timing. And I've got to say, Nothing feels better than wiping out an enemy crew before the real action even begins. But of course, it's not all smooth sailing. Things can get pretty rough when you are on a receiving end. Once the ship to ship battle ends, it's time to board the enemy vessel for a skirmish phase. Your crew will fight it out in tactical turn-based combat. What's cool is that every action counts. You can reposition units, push enemies overboard and even use environmental hazards to your advantage. Yeah, you heard that right. If you're lucky enough, you can push enemies straight into an ocean. No need for a lifeboat and don't get too cocky because the enemy can do the same to you. So keep an eye on those push mechanics. As your crew fights, the damage they take carries over between rounds. And if any of your crew members fall, it's not just a game over. They'll have less health for the next battle. You'll need to make sure you've got enough resources to repair your crew or ship when you hit a port. Between each run, you'll have the chance to recruit new crew members, each with their own unique abilities. There are six different classes to choose from, and every crew member can have their own skill tree. One for their classes and one random tree to mix things up. This adds a huge huge layer of customization to your crew, making every run feel fresh and let's not forget about the monsters of the deep. You can summon some giant sea creatures to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Who would it want to call upon Cthulhu himself to crush an enemy fleet? Rogue Waters doesn't pull any punches when it comes to its difficulty. You'll face light battles, tough enemies and massive bosses. And while you can gain experience and resources no matter the outcome, the real challenge comes when it's time to face those bosses at the end of each map. Trust me, you'll want to prepare your ship and crew for these. And if you are not ready, well, you might find yourself at the bottom of the sea sooner than you think. So is Rogue Waters worth setting sail for? or should it remain lost at sea? Well, while the replayability could use a little more depth for the price, you know, there's no denying that this is a solid pirate adventure with strategic depth and exciting battles. The ship combat, crew customization and tactical skirmishes make every run feel unique and the sea creatures totally you know, worth it. If you are a fan of roguelike pirates or just want to experience something fresh on the high sea, Rogue Waters is definitely worth checking out. But maybe wait for you know, for a sale if you are concerned about the price to replayability ratio. Either way, you'll be in for a swashbuckling good time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe ring the bell for more gaming adventures until next time keep your crew loyal and your cannons loaded my name is abulon peace